Weight loss tip number 14, recover like Tangerine Jean. Years ago, when we started as personal trainers, at that time it was in North London, there was this um, one woman and she was, she was bonkers, <laughs> flying around everywhere like a tornado <laughs> with her short hair and her sun-kissed orange skin. We didn't actually know her name, but we just called her Tangerine Jean. <laughs> She was nice, but kind of mental, like she just had a gallon of coffee. Um, she was always either running or power walking or always rumbling something about stay motivated. She would walk past you and say, hey, how are you today? And by the time you've turned around to realize who it was and answer, she's left you in a cloud of dust. And all can be seen is her glowing skin disappearing into the horizon. <laughs> Even out of the gym, you're on a bus, you look out of the window and there she is running, waving hello. Or you come out of a shop and there she is power walking, asking, how are you? She was always there, never resting, never stopping to recover. For those of you who have seen previous versions of our program, Belly Proof, you might have seen the super fast walk between sets for recovery. Now you know where we got the idea from. <laughs> our tip is to treat your recovery more like this. Be more tangerine jean. If you train with high intensity, getting your heart pumping and your adrenaline rush, it can often leave you feeling a bit sick. And it's not uncommon to see in the gym somebody trained with high intensity, you know, stops to sit down and rest. And because of that, they start feeling a bit sick to the point of wanting to vomit. Some people are led to believe it's because they ate the wrong thing before they trained. Whereas actual fact, if you wanted to do weight loss, you should be training fasted and not eat anything beforehand and training with high intensity is what you should be doing. Some of the reasons why people feel sick after doing a high intensity set is a buildup of lactic acid, heavy breathing, and lack of blood oxygen, all stuff that you'd get when working hard. So this is all fine. The trick is how you manage it. The next time you do a high intensity set, instead of sitting down to recover, get up and go for a walk. Walk fast, round and round. Let your breathing regulate. Basically walk as fast as you can, almost running, but not quite. A bit like Tangerine Jean. <laughs> as you do that, try and regulate your breathing. We like to say breathe in and out to the count of five steps. Most people, 15, 20 seconds, maybe if you're unfit, 30 to 40 seconds, before you feel recovered and ready to go. Once you get to that point, take another 30 seconds to yourself, just normal recovery, just stand or sit down. This tends to boost your energy instead of zapping it, helping you push harder and recover faster every single time. Instead of feeling sick after a hard set, you can be a glowing orange tornado, just like Tangerine Jean, and smash the shit out of your next set. Give it a try the next time you work out hard. And if you've got any friends or clients you train with that take far too long to recover, share this video with them and help them see a positive boost to the recovery. Thanks for watching. For more weight loss tips like this, check out our YouTube channel or head over to bellyproof.com forward slash tips. <laughs> <laughs>